Um, apparently, I lost two pints of blood. Um, it's 48 stitches, three on the inside. So it was. I only looked at it for a second when it first happened, but the biggest shock was taking off the bandage in the hospital and seeing how deep it actually was. On May 9th, 2013, Sean was a grade 12 student at Assumption Catholic High School in Burlington. While on his way to class, he tried to open a wired glass door and suddenly the glass broke and Sean's arms went through the wired glass, severely lacerating the muscles, the nerves and tendons in his right arm. Uh, Sean underwent immediate surgery and he's left with severe scarring and has not regained the full use of his arm. We are here today because we believe the public should be aware of the dangers of wired glass. Uh, we are here because we do not want what happened to Sean to happen to anyone else. Wired glass is used in countless schools throughout Ontario and Canada and it is meant to be a fire retardant. Although it is commonly referred to as a safety glass, it is anything but. Uh, the reality is that wired glass breaks more easily than all other types of glass. And when it does, the wires hold pieces of the glass together, causing further lacerations when pulling your arm or your hand out of the glass. That's the muscle that was lacerated, so as you can see, like my left arm will go further than my right. Like I can't bring it back as far as my left, and that affects me when I'm lifting something when my hand is placed this way. Not so much this way, but this way. Um, that's the muscle that's being pulled on, and it's seeing as there's a lot of nerve, da nerve damage, it sends tingles up my arm, and it's frustrating sometimes. And the last time in Canada that they've looked at the standards was 1990. Uh, and in the United States, they've been much more proactive the, with the Consumer Product Safety Commission. Wired glass is now banned in the United States in impact areas. It can't be used. Uh, so it's a, there's an absolute ban throughout all of the states in the United States currently. Uh, so Canada is far behind. Slowing down to open it. From, and my, my right arm just went through it. I put both arms to the glass, but only my right arm went through. Did you know right away that it was bad? That it was cut? No, I didn't. I noticed about 10 seconds after because uh, I was sort of looking around to see if anyone noticed that I just broke glass. But And then uh, I had some kid point at my arm and I just looked at it. And, What'd you think? Well, I just looked at it for a second. I just put the skin back and my friend tied his shirt around my arm and then uh, I held it above my head, did all the right procedures. So. You had to put the skin back. There's a flap of skin hanging out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty gruesome to think of now. Yeah, it? it wasn't. I only looked at it for a second. So it, the worst part for me was coming out of the ambulance and taking the bandage off. And seeing what it was. Especially because it was all sticking to it. And <laughs> Was awful, yeah. Yeah. But you had, did you have any idea that it could be dangerous to just press on glass like that? No, I didn't. I've never, I've never seen anyone this happen to anyone in my life. Really, I've never heard of it happening. I have now because of the lawsuit, and Michael's, mm -hmm. Michael's told me all about it and how dangerous it actually is. So.